So real quick video, if we have one half cup, how many milliliters do we end up with? So if you're cooking and you're given one half cup and you need that in milliliters, here's how you figure it out. One cup, one cup is just about 240 milliliters. That's a conversion factor. So if you memorize that, you can figure the other stuff out pretty easily. If you wanna be really exact, it's 236.6 milliliters, but we're gonna work with 240 here. This usually works pretty well. So if one cup is 240, half cup is just half of 240. That's 120 milliliters. And that's it. So if you know this, this part gets kind of easy. Or you could take 236.6 milliliters, divide that by two, and you would end up with 118.3 milliliters. And that would be more exact. If you need to do it the mathematical way, if you need to show your work, here's how you can do that. Basically, we're taking one half of 240 milliliters. So when we do that, we take one half, instead of of, we say times, and that's 240 milliliters in one cup, because 240 milliliters, that makes up one cup, right? That's our conversion factor. So now you have cups here and here, they cancel out when you multiply, you're left with milliliters, and one half of 240 milliliters is 120 milliliters, which isn't surprising. That's what we found before when we converted one half cup to milliliters. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.